Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are at that time of the year again when Mercury is retrograde. And we know what happens when Mercury is retrograde, right? So let's share the screen and see what's going on with Mercury retrograde. I hope you can see the screen. <clears throat> All right. So this is... Uh, this is the chart for the current time that is here in Germany, like five minutes back, uh, 24th August, 2023, 5.26 p.m. Okay, so here if you see uh, in Mercury, this is drikpanchang.com, by the way. <clears throat> so if you just see Mercury uh, here, it's written retrograde. You know, there's a U, uh, it's like a, arrow is there that by that you know so here if you see venus is retrograde saturn is retrograde and uh yeah rahu ketu are retrograde by default always and jupiter will be retrograde in september i don't know exactly which date but yes in september it will be <coughs> and mercury will be direct uh, which means it will come out of the retrogression on uh, 15th of september okay so that means uh, almost like uh, 21 days, Mercury will be retrograde. And currently, if you see Mercury, uh, he's in 27 degrees of Leo. Uh, Uttar Falguni Nakshatra, first Pada. And Uttar Falguni is in the sign of Leo and also lauded by uh, the sun. So, <clears throat> I mean, uh, the lord of Uttar Falguni, you know, the planetary lord is Surya and the zodiac signs lord is also Surya. So sun becomes very important. And uh, as you know, Mercury here is also combust because Sun is uh, in 7 degrees and Mercury is in 27 degrees. Okay, uh, so this is a very interesting thing because if you see Mangal, he's uh, also, uh, you could say a bit combust, okay. Although they're significantly far away, hmm? but uh, Mars is quite combust, okay. And then, uh, if you see uh, what's going on in with, with you know Jupiter, uh, Jupiter will slow down a bit after some you know one or two or two weeks. I think you know in two weeks he will slow down because his retrogression is going to start. Okay, so essentially, you if you look at this uh, chart, you can see um, there is there is a cluster combination of Jupiter and Rahu. And uh, here, please do not see the houses because it's just a random transit chart so uh, this is for a Sagittarius rising but uh, it does not uh, mean that only the Sagittarius Lagna people should see this video okay <clears throat> so if you see the prominent clusters uh, we have uh, here we'll focus more on the sign and not on the house not so much on the house you know, because that will be different for every ascendant. Okay, so we have Jupiter Rahu's uh, conjunction going on in the sign of Aries. <clears throat> and Rahu, as you know, is in three degrees. And on 30th of October, he's going to move into the sign of Pisces. Okay, and Ketu is in Libra and he will move into Virgo on 30th October also. Depending on which Rahu Ketu you take, you know, true nodes, mean nodes. Okay. And then uh, this conjunction of Sun Mercury is in the sign of Leo, as you know. Uh, but this is an interesting thing going on here. Uh, Saturn is actually, you know, uh, Saturn is actually also retrograde, and he's aspecting this Sun and Mercury. Okay, uh, this is a very interesting uh, conjunction, which can uh, go both ways. It can be very good, and it can be uh, very challenging also sometimes. Which means uh, that when uh, when now see the thing is sun and saturn are natural enemies okay but saturn and mercury are friends so so what and sun mercury are you know they are like neutral to each other or they are sometimes friendly so it's it's like a very precarious situation or a very weird situation where two best friends are uh, not best friends you know good friends saturn and mercury are respecting each other and then to enemies, sun and moon, like, you know, worst of the enemies are aspecting each other, uh, which happens only once, you know, like for 30 days, you know, generally uh, in a year. Uh, and then you have 
uh, this mixture of energies, you know. So uh, this is a situation where uh, people would have a lot of ideals and ideas. Okay, I'm saying two things, ideas and ideals. Uh, which will come from sun and mercury okay ideas will come from mercury the sun will give you ideals okay but then there is reality okay and reality is in retrogression which means it is something which you have already experienced okay um yeah it's a very interesting thing which is going on so so there is this uh, perplexity you know there is this complexity of having some ideas which is driven by your ideals, okay? The sun is the driving planet of the horoscope. The, the sun is the king of all the planets. He is the Raja, okay? Mm -hmm. So he is the one who puts the energy. He is the one who gives you ideals. And uh, sun and mercury people, they are, their ideas are driven by their ideals, okay? So uh, therefore, this is a very interesting conjunction known as Buddha Aditya Yo, okay? So... But now what is happening is that Mercury is retrograde. He's going to be retrograde. And as you know, when Mercury goes retrograde, you know, old friends come back into your life. Uh, if you had a trip somewhere in these days, you know, tr your trip will be cancelled. And I know somebody who has already informed me about uh, their trip uh, to a particular place and that is cancelled. Uh, and uh, if you sign some document, you should be careful. Otherwise, that may bounce back later. You know? So these are standard things that we know. But how is this Mercury retrograde uh, specifically different from others? So here the concept of ideals is very strong because this is happening uh, in the sign of Leo, which is again the sign of ideals. Okay. So very strong idealism, uh, like, you know, power, ego, dominance, authority, all this is coming into play. <coughs> which is aspected by a very strong retrograde Saturn, which is in its smooth trigon sign okay, of Aquarius. So the reality is hitting hard uh, with ideals, but uh, that does not mean that somebody has given up their desire of ideals and ideas. Okay, So therefore, it could happen that you have a lot of ideas which you want to implement practically. Now, there are some challenges that you are facing, but remember this Saturn is well-placed. Okay. Uh, it is not a bad Saturn. Okay, Saturn in Aquarius is exceptionally good. So this means that you have you have ideals and you want to implement them, but you are having problems. But you will cross through them. You will come out of them. Okay. But Mercury retrograde can give some hiccups. Okay. This is in general uh, for the aspect of Mercury and Saturn, and also because Mercury will be retrograde. So uh, there are certain things which you might have wanted to complete and you will try your best to complete them within these 21 days so if you have some big project which you are working upon and in your uh, lagna chart if in your birth chart in your original birth chart for you uh, if mercury is well placed in the uh, earth houses you know he's uh, then he's going to give you a lot of gains by 15th of september depending on your dasha so gains in the sense like uh, <clears throat> things will start to materialize okay things will start to go into towards completion. So it's a very interesting time. And then uh, we also know that uh, Rahu and Jupiter are aspecting, are going to aspect this Mercury because they aspect the fifth house, right? From where they are. So from Aries, they are going to aspect Leo. <clears throat> so Jupiter's aspect kind of inflates Mercury and the sun, okay? Which means... Now you kind of feel uh, over bloated and over optimistic about your uh, projects yet there are challenges which you thought will not come but they will come but uh, at the end you will uh, be successful okay <clears throat> and then within like uh, six seven days moon will also go and join uh, moon will also go and join saturn you know so maybe uh, around end of august you might feel that strain you know it's like you know you are trying to do things but somehow it's not working you know like around 29th or so you know like 30 31st so they those days might be a bit intense because you will feel uh, because when the moon joins saturn then uh the frustration from the reality and the obstacles they come into the forefront your mind feels it more okay because it's uh, the moon which is the karaka for the mind and then of course we have uh, Mars also, which is like, you know, uh, Mars also, if you see here uh, at the moment, 
he's also combust okay so that can also uh, make things a bit harder and uh, you may feel the need to seek for validation outside you may feel the need to prove yourself you know to others uh, but understand one thing that you know you cannot prove yourself all the time you know you, you cannot prove yourself to everybody always so therefore uh, it is imperative that you uh, do not get into this uh, maddening obsession of uh, trying to prove your ideals to somebody else okay so it may work for you and it may not work for somebody else okay or for somebody else it might work for them but not for you so there could be a clash of ideals and ideas you know driven by ideals <laughs> so therefore uh, Jupiter's Rahu, Jupiter Rahu's aspect onto this Mercury will inflate things, will make you uh, not only over optimistic, uh, so, sorry, not only optimistic, but uh, over optimistic sometimes, you know, you overestimate yourself, your capabilities and then, but the beauty is you have the aspect of a retrograde Saturn in Aquarius to bring you down to the cloud, okay, so there will be certain things which you will have to let go uh in a sense you know like you you will want to do something big but uh, there are some compromises you have to make you know <clears throat> so you you may not be able to do you may not be able to do everything so grand okay uh but you will be able to do it in a way that you feel oh yeah this is my starting and i'm doing it now uh to this extent and later on i'll do it more as i am more capable okay so therefore start and don't think much about you know what will happen after two years five years ten years think about it uh, but don't uh, be obsessed and don't uh, not start because you are fearful of the future, okay? So therefore, try out and see if your plans work out. And at the end, as I always say, this will all depend on your Mahadasha and your Antardasha, okay? And especially if you are running Mercury Mahadasha, Mercury Antardasha, then this will be more prominent because <clears throat> uh, your Dasha Nath, which is the Dasha Lord, is getting retrograde. Okay, so keep a check on your ideas and ideals. Uh, don't uh, force it on others. Uh, and also do not let others uh, crush you behind, you know, their ideals, uh, ideas driven by ideals. <laughs> and then be cognizant of the reality. Be aware, be knowledgeable, be, be, be fully... Uh, be fully cognizant of the reality you know otherwise uh, you may uh, take wrong assumptions and it might uh, lead to accidents okay <laughs> so therefore uh, end of the month as I said you know moon Saturn conjunction could be a bit tight that is when you will feel this you know when the Purnima is there okay so just just be aware of it and uh, yeah I hope things are uh, turning out favorably for you depending on your horoscope okay Thank you very much as usual and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below you will uh, <clears throat> and if you want a consultation from me you will also find uh, the link of my website down in the description section and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who needs it okay God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him.